Yeah, good morning. It's Jim from jagfx.com. It is Thursday the 16th of July 2020. It's currently just past 11 a.m. local here in Da Nang, Vietnam. This is a look at my 12-hour high probability charts. Now, today I've decided I'm going to start winding back on this time frame. I enjoy trading the 12-hour charts, but it does take up a fair bit of time during the day with me having to do the video, update the spreadsheets, etc. Um, there's a couple other projects I'm interested in, uh, in working with a couple of other readers on a couple of things like um, building uh, expert advisor and got some other stuff I'm looking at trading type um, related. So if I'm just going to cut back on the 12 hour high probability charts or trades. Uh, I will go back to them eventually, but I just want to get some projects out of the way first. So let's just have a look and I'll explain what I've done today. This is my, just gives you an idea, the setup here of what I'm looking at on the high probability charts. This doesn't matter what time frame, basically this is the same. So you can either take a screenshot of that, pause the video, read it. Just I'll put it back up near the end of the video. Just shows you what all the different colours mean and what I'm looking at basically, what things mean on the charts. All right, let's get the watch list if I can find it. All right, you can see my 12-hour watch list. This is Trading View. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, trading View, 12-hour charts. Now, what I've got highlighted in orange is something that's happened this morning that I'm going to talk about in these videos. Now, all these ones highlighted in pink down here, so all those ones there, they were all in profit, so I've closed all of these trades in the last sort of hour or so. So they've all been closed. These two never had trades on, so I've just moved them down the bottom of the list. So now all I've got to worry about is these pairs. So what I'll do is I'll keep on trading all these sequences until I'm either in profit in the sequence overall um, or I'll overall profit on the pair. So... I, it just cuts down my workload by having to look at all these pairs also, and I'll gradually work my way through all of these. Now, all these trades are recorded on the shared spreadsheet. There's uh, a link to that spreadsheet in the description of the video, so you're more than welcome to check that out. So let's run through what we did. So we'll start with the top one, AED CAD, messy chart to start with. Like I always say, if I talk too fast, can't understand the Australian accent, or English is not your first language, just pause the video and read my notes. I normally keep pretty good notes for all the trades. So S1, S2, S3, simply sequence one, sequence two, sequence three. As you can see, this thing's been going up. And today, there's a red dot up here, it's a little bit hard to see, sell signal. So I've taken a, a new sell on sequence one, new sell on sequence two, hang on a sec, just check my notes here and a new cell on sequence three. So that, gave, that gives me break-even levels on each sequence, and it also gives me an overall break-even for all trades, all trades combined. And those break-even levels are designated by the yellow horizontal lines, each different level. So for example, the bottom one's nine, three, one, two, six. So that's my sequence one break-even level. Uh, normally I'll try and get the the levels to where which sequence they represent. So sequence two break even is that one. Sequence three overall break even will be just about it now is that one there. So hopefully this thing will push down a bit. There was Canadian interest rate news last night which affected the Canadian dollar all around on a lot of pairs. Uh, my sells are designated by red and my buys are blue. Green trend lines generally represent bullish divergence and Red trend lines, bearish divergence. So here you've got class, classic regular bearish divergence. So that's the OzCAD new cell, three cells taken on the same candle for three sequences this morning. CAD Swiss. Uh, new buy signal, again Canadian related. New buy signal this morning, so I took a buy on sequence, fourth buy on sequence one, and a second buy on sequence two. Gives me 
one break even for sequence two is this first one, and we've got one for overall break even and one for sequence one. So if we just push up a little bit higher, we'll be good there. Uh, what else we got? CAD, sorry, Swiss franc, Japanese yen. I uh, took a hedge sell. So I was in this buy here. MACD platinum was below the zero level. It was in a buy. Uh, didn't break through this uh, resistance level, which I called as a, <laughs> as a bit of a high risk trade. I took it anyway. Uh, and it's, I've paid the price. It's gone against me. And this morning is a new sell signal. So I've just taken a hedge sell. So I'm hedged, locking in a loss between these two levels at the moment. Euro Aussie, very busy chart. I mean, lots of sequences starting all the way back here. So sequence one, sequence two, sequence three, sequence four. Got a new sell signal. So sequence one was a sell, hedge nine. It was a hedge, so now that break even, not applicable, it's hedged. Sequence two was also a hedge, so hedge sell taken on there. Uh, I know it's a bit messy, this chart to read, a lot of lines, but you'll see there's a method to my madness, trust me. Sequence three was an actual fourth sell trade, so it gives me a break-even level, which is that yellow line, which is not far below price, but it's all very congested here. Let's see if I make a little bit. And I took a new sequence four sell because the MACD platinum is above the zero level. I need some more protection to the downside with these two big upside. Let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger, see if we can just decluster it a bit. So the sell was in here, it's gone against me already, as usual. It's really got to break this low to get some traction. Um, yeah, I think I'm concentrating more to the upside on this pair. If you look at the, you know, it's got this big base, it's, it's, it's starting to turn up. All right, New Zealand Swiss Frank. New buy signal this morning, not a great one. Uh, MACD Platinum's just below the zero level, took it anyway. Price has come back, bounced off the MAs, up we went. That's not too bad. USD CAD, again, multiple sequences. You can read my notes. So sequence one, I took a fifth cell, you can see there. So it's on this candle, the new cell, sorry, above the zero level. Um, sequence two, I took a hedge, second hedge sell. That, that's break even, it's not applicable, it's hedged. And I've commenced a new sequence three, not an ideal setup, but I, I want to push down to the downside. So, new sell signal there. And we've got overall break even as one level, which is the um, 33965. And uh, break even for just sequence one, three, four, one, three, eight. That's the top one. So it hasn't got far to go down, but it's got to break these lows again. So if you're stuck on a bit of a flat spot, I'll tell you what, I'm just a bit over the USD CAD. It's a pair I struggle with on a lot of time frames. I'm not sure why. I just never seem to get on with it. So I think I'll just ditch it all around once I get uh, on top of everything. All right, so let's have a look at what we've closed today. Now, the Oz Swiss I've closed, but this morning I did, I was in a buy here. I'm going to tidy up all these charts, just clean them up. I was in a buy. I'd closed half because the MACD platinum's through the zero level, and to close it, I've just closed the other half. So that Oz Swiss is now closed. There's my total profit. So I will tidy up these charts, and I'll be clean and blank. So Aussie USD uh, in a buy here, had a stop and place somewhere, took a sell, another buy. It's just above the overall break even. So I closed all the trades, small profit, everything's up to date. So that's Aussie's being cleared. CAD yen. It's in a sell up here, there's a stop and place. It's in a buy from a couple of days ago. Closed both trades, I'll tidy it up. Profit's been added, all good. EuroCAD. Now I did something on this this morning too. Yeah, um, actually closed <laughs> early this morning. I closed one trade and I moved the stop up. Then sequence three, I took a uh, I took a sell here this morning. 
Now that sells in profit. Um, so what I've done now is I've just closed all trades. So that buy's been closed, that sell's been closed. Total profits all in sync. So all good. Euro Swiss in a buy here. Just closed it. It's going up nicely. Good profit there. So it's closed. Pound CAD in a sell. Going down nicely. Just closed. Uh, pound yen is in a sell back here. That's been closed. Took a buy, had a stop in place. That's been closed. Did another sell, slight profit. That's been closed. So profits all being added to there. New Zealand CAD is in a buy here. There's a stop in place. Didn't get to it. Closed that. In a sell from a couple of days ago. In profit, closed that. New Zealand USD um, in one buy back here had a stop in here somewhere. Another buy here had a stop in here somewhere. Closed both buys. Profits been added to the total. Uh, Euro is already blank, no trades on, profitable. And Euro yen, no trades on, overall profitable. So I'll tidy up all these trades. These will be all untagged. And all I'm worrying about is these pairs here. So we're just winding down, like I said, just want to concentrate on a couple of other projects that I've got going. Uh, I seem to be running out of time during the day in between sleep and updating spreadsheets and doing videos, especially the 12-hour. I'm trying to do a video every time I make, take some action. So it's a lot of work. I like the 12-hour charts, don't get me wrong. Uh, and the projects I'm involved in are still using the same indicator, so nothing changes there. They're just my go-to indicators. I love them. So, All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you do like the video, please hit the subscribe button or the like button. Um, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, everyone on the 12-hour videos is more than welcome to join the JagFX Facebook group or Telegram groups where I discuss more of the daily charts. I'm also getting away from the hedging on the daily. Uh, I didn't make a mistake today. I've got to fix up. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as usual, I uh, will chat to you another day. Cheers.